If you find goal setting a bit stressful and you want to feel more connected to the work that you do, then maybe embracing intention setting will help you to stay motivated and inspired throughout the year. But where do you even start with intention setting? Well, in this video, I'll be sharing five ways that you can start setting intentions in your life and why it's such a powerful tool that any creative, purpose-led entrepreneur just like you needs to adopt right now. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Kate Emily and I'm a brand and content strategist and love helping small business owners just like you build their brands online. Now I'm a big fan of goal setting. However, sometimes it sets us up to fail or feel like a failure. We either have achieved the goal within the time frame we've set or we didn't. So say you had a goal to reach $10,000 in the month of June. If you didn't reach it, you didn't achieve your goal, right? But what if you did achieve $6,000 in the month of June? Yes, you didn't reach that $10,000 goal, but say 6,000 is way more than your usual $2,000 per month. So you actually have achieved so much. And if you had a uh, set an intention rather than a goal, you would have felt way more of a success and felt the motivation to keep going and moving on through to the next month. So if you're feeling a bit like goals are just not sitting right with you right now, maybe setting an intention is going to be the best way forward for you. Setting intentions in your business allows you to find focus and direction. So this means that any opportunities that arise that you want to say yes to, you can really reflect and go, is this the direction I actually want to head? Is this going to move the needle in my business? Is this going to achieve my dream for my business? Not only will it ensure that everything you're working on right now is actually going to head you in the right direction or the direction you want to head, it will help you to align with your bigger purpose, your vision, and understanding what aligns with those values and the dream life that you're wanting to create. So intentions could be considered a mindset you want to be in to deliver your best work, or it could be something bigger than that. More than anything else, getting clear on your intentions allows you to make better decisions when opportunities arise or a situation comes up that you need to make a decision about. You can make that more confidently knowing that it's aligned with where you want to head. I'm sure you've heard stories before where people have said they've written down a goal, an intention, a dream, and then somehow opportunities arise for them in the near future that were just out of their control. Without getting too woo-woo on you, this is kind of aligned with that whole idea around what you put out into the universe, you get back. And it's it takes a little bit of work to think deeply about what it is you really are intending for your life and your business. It is so worth the effort. But to make intention setting super easy and ensure that it actually leverages you in 2020 and makes it your best year yet, I've got five examples of ways that you can start intention setting that are so easy that you can start doing right now. Number one is to create a vision board. So I created a whole video on how to do this, how to create a digital vision board, which you should definitely go and watch right now if you haven't already. But basically the whole point of creating a vision board is to get clear on the dream that you wanna create. It's not about getting focused in on specific outcomes or monetary goals that you wanna achieve. And the cool thing about a digital vision board is you can literally put it everywhere. So then it's that constant reminder that you can keep seeing again and again as to what is the actual life or your dream life that you want to achieve. Number two is to set a monthly intention setting session. So you might want to do this with some other business friends that you have that is in the similar sort of alignment to you, or you may want to just do this by yourself at a cafe and just give yourself some really focused time to just go and set some intentions for the month ahead. The most important thing is, is that you schedule this time in and lock it in and make sure you do it every single month because it's really easy to just put this one aside. Maybe it's the first Monday of every month you spend an hour just working on your intentions. The reason why it's important to do this monthly rather than just creating intentions for an entire year is because 
your months change. So maybe this month you have a lot of personal stuff going on. So your intention could be something like say no more often. And that might mean, you know, say no to those catch ups with people that you're not getting a lot of value from or, or people that just want to pick your brain and, and allow yourself that space to focus on what you really need to do at work, but then on whatever else is going on in your personal life. Number three is to outline your perfect day. So this is something a lot of us don't do because we just get caught in this vortex of social media and emails from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. Instead, make a plan for what your dream morning would look like. So maybe this is a quick workout or it's a walk or it's a reading your favorite book or a meditation or maybe all of those things then maybe your perfect day means you only check emails twice a day and you have the rest of that time for client work or projects or new things that are coming up or even just time and space to brainstorm and just be in your own head don't forget breaks either and this might mean a 30 minute lunch break or a walk around the block a couple of times during the day Anything that makes you feel like this is going to be your dream work day. And while it may not come to reality every single day by setting this intention around what your dream work day looks like, you're more likely to actually achieve it. Number four is write a word of the day. And now a lot of thought doesn't have to go into this. It could just be a word in your diary or it could be on a post-it note or something like that. Just think about whatever that word is that you want to, you know, focus on for the day. So it might be focus or productivity or it might be relaxation or mindfulness. Depending on where your head's at and what your emotional state is and what you've got on your plate from a work perspective, you just want to set a word that allows you to come into a state that you would love to be in for the entire day. And number five is visualize yourself in five years. So where do you work? Where do you live? Who surrounds you? What activities do you do on a daily basis? What experiences have you had? We can easily get caught up in the day to day ticking off a to do list that never ends. But if you really are clear on what you want your life to look like in five years time, you can prioritize what you're doing right now as to whether it's going to be important or really make a difference in your personal or professional life in the future. I hope this video has helped you understand what intention setting is and given you a couple of ideas for how you can start integrating it into your life and into your business. If you've tried any of these ideas, please drop them in the comment box below because as always, I'd love to hear what you're up to and what content is really resonating with you. But next up, I recommend watching my digital vision board tutorial because that one is going to help you create a bigger vision for your year and see what it is that you want to achieve both in life and in your business. So go and watch that one um, and I will see you here next Tuesday with another video I know you're going to love. So until next time, bye for now.